Hi folks, it's Evo Bannon here, and we are starting a new program on the channel called What's Trending, and that's basically where I see what's trending on the internet. So, uh, let's just see what's trending today. Go to Yahoo. Oh, this is an interesting Playboy um, is uh, trending. So we'll just uh, take a look at that. No oh, nudes. In Playboy? <laughs> well, according to this, uh, Playboy magazine is no longer going to have pictures of new women in it. Well, that is just a hoax. There is no way that is possible. No naked ladies in Playboys? That's like no horses at the uh, Kentucky Derby. So I am just going to look at a few other sites. I'll go to Twitter. Oh, it's trending there too. Huh. Okay. Let's try Salon. The same thing again. No new women in Playboy. Well, this is quite the internet hoax. But I am going to go to the foremost authority on everything, Snopes. And I am sure that Snopes is going to confirm that this rumor that Playboy magazine is no longer have new women in it is just a hoax. Come on, Snopes. Say it isn't so. Say it isn't so, Snopes. True. I just, I can't even. No. 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 <laughs> somewhat upset at the time that uh, hearing the news that Playboy magazine would no longer have nude women in its uh, magazine, but I've had some time to think about it. I think I'm somewhat over it. You know, it's just uh, reflecting on the passing of the times. It's just another thing that's kind of going away, like the telephone booth or um, the VCR. Um, you know, I read, I read their reasons, and they said it was the internet. I don't think that me personally, I'm going to be looking at my pornography on the internet for a, a number of reasons. One, a lot of it is gross. I mean, I don't even think I'll ever eat rutabaga ever again. Two, a lot of it is fake. You know, you could put Kate Upton's face on. Madeline Albright's body all you want. You're not fooling anyone. And three, some of it was illegally downloaded from people's phones. Hey, I want to see naked pictures of Anna Kendrick too, but I don't have to face some kind of moral dilemma looking at them. So, I guess that's, there you have it. It'll probably be some while before I look at them. Naked women again, in any form. But, you know, if there's one person I'm not mad at, it's Playboy. Because, you know, for 50 years, they were the ones giving us pictures of naked women. And I just, I can't be upset about that. You know, they had to do what they had to do. And I'd like to thank them for all those 50 years of pictures of naked women that they did provide for us. And I'd like to, like, to thank the women who were generous enough to take off their clothes and pose for those pictures. Women like Brooke Burns, Allison Waite, and Amanda Cerny. Thank you so much. And um, that's all I have to say on that.